Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty in the Stamper. Welcome to Technique Tuesday. Let me go ahead and tell you real quick, take your snapshot if you haven't already. It's got my November host code. It's got my information for next month's bingo if you want to take my stamp and sip bingo class. It's going to be on December 16th at 5.30 my time. All you need to do is purchase the Little Treats Bundle and the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. And you can do that at jeanpiersani.stampinup.net and you can learn lots, play bingo, win prizes, and we are just gonna have a good time. Note that it is an evening class and a weekday class. All right, I think I gave you plenty of time to screenshot that. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to be using a plain paper bag and the Wonders of the Season card pack. So I've got all those cards here. There's a whole nother little set here. All kinds of fun stuff if you haven't seen it. This is a Memories and More card set and it just has all kinds of great... Um, cards in there we're going to be using one of these and then it's got these large cards in there and again these will fit in the memories and more packs to be able to do some great um, scrapbooking if you are all about the scrapbooking and some of these are double-sided just so you know some are not like this one here it is not double-sided but I am going to be using that one and then again, I mean, there's so many more in here, but there are some numbers in case you wanted to use those in your scrapbooking. You could also take these bags like I'm going to do and make an advent calendar. So it's well, an advent bag, shall we say. So each bag will have something different and it looks like you could make two of them if you'd like. <laughs> So it's got those cards in there. And then it also has other stickers that have um, the a gold reindeer. It has Believe, it's got some stars, Joy and Wonder. And then we've got some more stickers. It says Jingle All the Way, Let Your Heart Be Light. All of these great things. And I think we're gonna kind of put some of these in there. Oh, so cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I just have a brown paper bag. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree, your local grocery store. You can usually find them in brown and white. So let's see. Now I'm going to take this regular paper bag and I have out my 3D brick um, embossing folder and what you're going to do is you're going to stick this in here and you're going to run it through just like that and then once that comes out you're going to take it you're going to line it up with the bottom of the bag the whole thing line the bottom of the bricks up with the top of the bricks and run it through again and then what's going to happen is you're going to come out with a bag like this can you see all that brick detail? It's now a 3D bag. And guess what? It has gone in the centers as well. And it's gone on the bottom. I mean, this has completely embossed that bag entirely. So now we get to go in with our little cards here that we're going to be using. And I have taken that card. Now it is a larger card, so I needed to cut about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch off to make it match my bag. I won't put the size there because you're gonna match up your bag because some bags are larger, some bags are smaller, but this one um, was five inches. So I have this extra piece. I will save that for something else. And then I've got this one here, which is gonna lay right over that. You guys, look how cute that is, and you already have your little bag, but let's decorate it a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and grab 
my stamp and seal and put that first layer down. Now remember, this is going to, this looks like it would be the center of the card, but it's not. The center is gonna be from here. And then remember, you're probably gonna wanna put that down a little bit so your center is actually gonna be all the way, which looks like all the way down here. So I would say the the middle um, to bottom third of the bag in between there. And we're gonna put a lot of this tape. You could use the stamp and seal, the stamp and seal plus, and the uh, multi-purpose glue would work on here. So we're just gonna put that guy right there. And this is going to be our base. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our card. I'm going to be using the Perfectly Plaid. And I'm going to be using that Merry Christmas. I've got that on my block already. Now remember this is a Technique Tuesday. The technique is making gift bags out of everyday items, I guess. But we're going to stick that in that shaded spruce and put that right in the middle there. There we go. Look how pretty that is. And that's all we've got for our stamping portion. Now we're just going to finish building the rest of the bag. You could stamp the bag if you want. I would stamp it before I run it through the embossing folder. You could also, if you wanted to give a little bit of that brick to out, um, like shine a little bit, you could use um, some sponging and sponge on the brick and make some of those bricks pop out in maybe like a red or something like that. So now we've got this down there. I'm gonna take a piece of this guy and I'm gonna kind of, Let's see here. I'm going to go through there. I'm going to get out my paper snips here. And we're going to cut that at 5 inches as well. And then this is the shaded spruce that comes in the, um, what is it called? The Wonders of the Season. Because we are using the Wonders of the Season um, pack. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to flag this a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same to this side. And we're going to flag that a little bit here. I'm goofing up here. There we go. It's not a big, huge flag, but just a nice, a nice one there that's going to go right across. Now, even though um, the greens are similar, they are not exact. And that's going to give me just a little bit of flag sticking out on each way. You could also go up and down if you'd rather go like that, which, ooh, I think I like that. What do you think? I think I like it. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> See, sometimes it just works out. So I'm going to put this little bit here right down the middle because I definitely know that I want it stuck all the way down. We're going to put that right here in the center. And then we've got our Merry Christmas and we can put that up with our dimensionals. That does not have to be held down at all. So I'm done with this little set of dimensionals. I love when that happens. I love when I can use every single piece. And we're going to just make this little brown bag into something special. A nice little gift uh, to give away. You'll, I mean, imagine not having to spend all that money on gift wrap, right? 
And if you don't have the memories and more, you can use regular paper. You can just stamp. I mean, all of this would look great on that perfectly plaid. And then if you had the punches, oh, forget about it. Forget about it, that would look amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. We're gonna put that right here. And again, you could be done. There's so many uh, things that you could do here. I'm going to take our little bells here. We're gonna just take two of these little jingle bells out. And I'm gonna take some of this twine here. It's just the gold ribbon. And I'm gonna put this in here. Whoop, there we go. And I'm gonna take it in the middle and I'm gonna just tie it. Because they are so cute together. So we've got those little guys. I'm gonna set that off to the side and I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna grab some of these pieces. I think this little uh, reindeer is just adorable. So I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna put him right here. Uh, maybe right about there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of these pieces here. I don't need the whole thing, so I'm gonna just cut it right down the center. And I'm gonna put some, just put it, I'm gonna put it at an angle, sticking out just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. sticking out just like that. So you have all of this going on and really you still haven't done um, too much here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the gold stars here and I'm gonna place one here. I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna put it off the bag and put it down here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this third star and I'm gonna put it oh, right about there. So now we have stuff all mixed and mingled in together. And now let's work on our bag. So you can open it up, put all your goodies and stuff in there. And then you're gonna fold it over. You can fold it over however many times you want. But I'm gonna fold it over about an inch and a half. Okay, and then you just take a little hole punch. And you can punch one there, and then punch one there. And I am gonna grab whoop, a little bit of my ribbon here. And this is the uh, what's the name of this one? Uh, the double stitch satin ribbon, and it is in the real red. So just take your piece there. You could also use this beautiful shaded spruce ribbon would work well, whatever you would like to do. I'm just gonna pull these through just like that. And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna pull these guys through. Jo oh, maybe not, there we go. That one did not wanna go all the way through. <laughs> so there we go. 
So I'm going to pull those through. And then you just tie this in a nice little bow. I would use both the gold and the the cording, the gold cording and the red ribbon and make yourself a nice little bow. You guys know I don't know how to make good bows. I didn't leave myself enough room. So just make yourself <laughs> a cute little bow. If you are like me and cannot make a bow and don't want to make it easy on your recipient, you could always just tie it in a knot and then guess what? After you tie it in your knot, check this out. You ready? And put this down. Grab one of your stickers. Just like this. It says the most wonderful time of the year. Take that sticker, put it on here, and just stick it. Just like that. And then take your um, your gold cord, cut it down to what you want it to be. You can cut that at an angle there. You can flag it however you would like. But look at how cute that is. You've got your um, back, you've got your front, and this, no one would ever know that it just was a plain paper bag. So I hope you like this. There are so many combinations that you could do. If you're just running out real quick and you're like, oh my gosh, I need something, grab this, right? Just grab it. Take your regular piece of um, paper bag, this one is kind of goofy, but lay that right on there. Get your ribbon, tie it through just like that, and there you go. That They'll never know. They will never know. So I hope you like this. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. I cannot wait to use this as a gift bag. I'm going to be using um, these brown paper sacks for all my gift giving this year. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learned from today's Technique Tuesday. If you want the tutorial, it is on my blog, beautyinthestamper.com, and I will talk to you later. Bye!